Tonight's speaker, David Soley, is certainly a champion for the region. Tonight, we will hear his journey in business. And so without further ado, uh, over to David. I started in Darlington. So my aim in life, and I, I didn't know what to do. All I knew that all my family had been in um, blue collar work, black trade. So I wanted an office job. I never seemed to have to apply for jobs. Jobs came to me. So I joined a company called William Press and I rapidly grew through the, the business there. I'd also been offered to work with some other individuals and form my own company and get into offshore oil and gas myself. And that was the first time that I became somebody that had an equity stake, but not without risk. And that to me is what an entrepreneur is, that combination of risk and reward. And that, rem that molded my future really as to what I was going to do in, in the rest of my career. David talked a lot about risk and how you have to embrace it as an entrepreneur and just really about perseverance and doing what you love. It was interesting the way that he talked about communication still being key and the idea of still you know, picking up the phone to people and just going and having a direct chat and how that can resolve so much more than email can. I always think that people are so important to us in business. Business is people and people give commitments. The other thing I find in, in, in business is problems. Everybody tells me about problems and I always think, well, problems are challenges and too often we manage the downturn very well. What we should do is come out of the other side and create this dynamic opportunities that are there at the moment. It's not industry based, it's more an attitude of mind and we should never be frightened of change in both old and new business. We should be looking for better, quicker, cheaper ways of doing things. That's how we're going to succeed. You shouldn't become emotionally involved in the business because if you do that, you're not leaving room for other people to grow into that business. Let other people come into the business. Let other people grow it and take it from, from where you are. I always like to just get people's stories and if you can take a little bit away from that and put it into your own business or what David said about legacy, how he wants to actually give back to the community, I think that's massively important for the region. We've got some fantastic entrepreneurs, some fantastic businesses and it's nice to hear about all those people who have been successful, you know, giving back. I'm not interested anymore personally in trying to make profit, profit, profit. I'm interested in trying to leave a legacy into the region. As individuals, if you've got something that really can work and it doesn't matter what the size, if you get the right partners, you can do it, you can actually do it and get out there and achieve these things. Don't be afraid of actually being able to think, well, that's too big for me. Oh, we can't do this because of that. Get on with it. An entrepreneur is somebody that uh, doesn't have an age spectrum. It never leaves you. If you are an entrepreneur, you are and these opportunities exist and, and we should go for them. We shouldn't accept that we can't do it, that we don't have this manufacturing. Let's get on and, and do it. <laughs>